Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 7, the role of government and citizen. And today I will deliver its 8th lecture. So my dear students, today will be the last lecture of this unit because it is the review of unit number 7. Before moving on towards the review, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. Uh, as you remember that we made a project and I hope that you have homework jo hai wo complete kiya hoga aur aapne is project ko bhi complete kiya hoga. So quickly tell me, pause the video and then answer this question. How can you play your part in the development of flourishing and prosperous society? Very good. So now you have become a very good citizen. Now let's move forward towards Page number 55 where all the student learning outcomes can, are written and Alhamdulillah we have covered all of them by so far. Now let's review them. So let's start the review. So when we started lecture number 1 we discussed about what is community on page number 56. We discussed that when many people have one kind of ideology, language, culture, religion or identity wale ek ko share karte hai, so they become a community. So, we have community ke mein ye padha tha. So, then we started, uh, we discussed about the creep key problems in, uh, in local area. So, what kind of issues do people face in their area? So, this was given also on page number 56 and 57. We discussed about shortage of water, um, pollution, um, uh, poor sewage system, um, uh, 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 no proper education system and sometimes it is poor healthcare system also. So these are some um, problems, key problems that are faced in the local areas of Pakistan. So next uh, we move forward towards the citizenship. So who is a citizen? A person uh, living in a country or a resident of a country is known as its citizen. So being a citizen, we have some rights and responsibilities that we discussed in the next lecture. So in next lecture, we discussed about the different which services are provided by the government to its citizens. So we learned that government kaun -kaun si jo services hai wo apne, um, residents ko provide karti hai. electricity, gas, water, education, military, police force and then healthcare transportation system, waste management. So these are all the different services that are provided by the government to its citizens. Then we discussed about the responsibilities of a good citizen. So we discussed that what are your responsibilities as a good citizen? Must be loyal, patriotic, must be helping, tolerant, uh, must uh, follow the rules and um, must help other citizens, must work together with the government. So that is how we can become a good citizen. Okay, next was that the traits of a good citizen. Okay, kaise hum apne andar personally kuch good qualities, individually kuch good qualities jo hai wo develop kar sakte hai. Jaise ke become loyal, become uh, tolerant, uh, hard working, honest, um, respect rules and laws, respect others, um, treat everyone equally. So these are some traits of a good citizen which everyone must have to help the society to flourish and to um, excel. Okay, so my dear students, this was it. Now is the time for practice. For practice, you can download this assessment sheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print from bio teacher. Write down your name and your class and then you will start the assessment sheet. So write down the rights and responsibilities of a citizen. Pehle aapne citizen ke rights likhne hai, phir aapne unki responsibilities likhne hai. After that, you will move forward towards question number two. Look at the pictures carefully, identify and write about the key problems in local areas of Pakistan. So, here are some problems that are in local areas. You have to identify those pictures and identify which problem is and you have to write them here in every picture. Okay, so this is how you will complete this question. Then question number three. In question number three, define the following terms, community and citizen. Question number four, name the services provided by the government to its citizen. So this is how you will pause the video and you will complete this worksheet. I hope you have finished the worksheet, submit it to your teacher. She will evaluate you, give you marks or grades. So my dear students, now let's move forward towards the homework. For homework, what you need to do is you will read unit number 7 from page number 56 to 61. So that if you have missed anything, if there is any lacking behind, that will be covered up. So my dear students, you will do reading at your in your homework and what we have learned. So now all the students are able to 
Define community and its importance. Describe the activities that individuals perform for the welfare of the community. They are also able to identify the key problems in their local area. They are also able to recognize that citizens organize themselves to meet their needs. They are able to describe what the government does to meet the needs of the citizens. They also are able to suggest ways the government and people can work together to meet the people's needs in the area. They are also able to identify the ways they can demonstrate um, good citizenship. So my dear students, I hope you have now know all these points. So if you have missed anything, you can re-watch that lecture. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.